live music, interviews, poetry, and more with your favorite personalities. Be our guest on Saturdays from 2 to 4 p.m. for the most exciting moments on TV. Join Kojo Akoto Boateng for real entertainment right in your living room. Saturday Live on City TV and City 97.3 FM. Go. Spend 30 minutes every weekday catching up with all the trending social media conversations of the day. If you tweet it, we'll read it. We might just even Skype you. Sometimes I feel, you know, when we, we are all humans, when somebody says something about me, shut up, no, 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 no. I might want to say something. Yeah. So, but when I say it, people shouldn't take it like uh, taking things, you know, personal and stuff. I've understood showbiz now and I really want to work on it like that. 30 minutes is all it takes, so use the hashtag. Three zero minutes on social media to catch our attention. Join the most interactive social media TV show weekdays at 5 p.m. only on City TV. Hi, good morning. You're welcome to The Big Issue. The Big Issue is your most preferred Saturday morning news and current affairs analysis program. We're coming to you live from our studios here at number 11, Dr. Martin Loop, in Adabraka, in Accra, on 97.3 City FM and on City TV. This morning, the matter of the National Cathedral is generated or courted a lot of public discussion. The question is, does Ghana need a National Cathedral at this time? How about the argument that the Christian community will pay for it and that it is only a piece of land they want on which to put up this imposing edifice? We will also look at the matter of the church paying taxes. Is it about time the church in Ghana started paying taxes? And on what exactly? Is it on offerings and tithes or on businesses undertaken by the church? We will unpack that particular issue for you. And this week, Angela Merkel the German Chancellor was in Ghana and amongst other things she said that she was in talks or she was engaging m some of her business members of the business community to build a plant an assembling plant for the VW vehicles in Ghana that certainly should be good news but the question is what has become of Apostle Sappho's exploits and the assistance that the VW company will be given that's Apostle Sappho and all the other local companies, um, do they have these assistance? We will look at this and see what economic potential the VW plant will have for Ghana. The matter of the CTN, that is a cargo tracking note, has also come up for discussion for this week. This week, the government suspended the full rollout of this policy. Mind you, the policy was supposed to have been fully rolled out from the 1st of September, effective today. But government says that it is postponing it for further consultation and sensitization. The GIF and a few other bodies have been up in arms with government or against government on this. Some other groups at the port are in favor of it. We will look at what the issues are in that respect. The GMPC, again, this week came under some public scrutiny. This time around, together with its chief executive, Dr. K.K. Sapon. Why? Because... Dr. K.K. Sapon instructed that about $7.5 million be paid to a company he was initially or before related to, a company he was chief executive of. We want to ask what the issues are, matters of conflict of interest, issues of corporate governance. We will deal with all these matters for you today. I invite you to join the discussion via text or WhatsApp on 0549-986-996. Twitter or social media, the hashtag is the big issue. Um, on Facebook, you can look for the City TV GH page, like it, 
um, enjoy it, and then you can leave your comments there, read the comments to the rest of the world. And on City973 page as well, do same, and we'll be happy to read your comments to the rest of the world. Once again, this is a big issue. My name is Selom Abinu. I'll be back, do some updates, and we'll delve into the discussions. <music> Welcome back to The Big Issue, 97.3 City FM. We are live on City TV as well. The construction of an interdenominational national cathedral, which ordinarily should have been a unifying agenda, is rather creating rancor and despondence among sections of the Ghanaian public. While some question the priorities of a secular state government in deciding to undertake such a project, others simply say they cannot understand why government is willing to sacrifice critical national assets for it. There is more in the following report. 5,000 seat capacity National Cathedral project was inaugurated by President Ekufuado in March last year with a 13 member committee taxed with overseeing the 14 acre land project. When completed, in addition, will house a number of chapels, a baptistry, a music school, an art gallery, and a Bible museum and documentation center. It will occupy the stretch of land from the rich roundabout through the scholarship secretariat, the judicial training institute to the passport office just behind the boundaries of Parliament House. This area, described as prime lands, also hosts 10 six-bedroom bungalows, which were built barely five years ago to house judges of the Court of Appeal. It also has the College of Physicians and Surgeons. About nine judges who live in the area, including other residents, have however been reportedly served eviction notice to vacate the area for immediate construction works to begin. A private legal practitioner, Samson Ladi Ayenene, dares to describe this as constituting interference with judicial independence as much as it smacks of continuing disrespect. David Aye is inspired by the concepts of unity harmony and spirituality and president ekufuado believes this cathedral will address the missing link in our nation's architecture by providing a church of national purpose what is termed a national purpose however does not seem to have been embraced nationally as many others continue to speak against it the cpp's director of elections james kobner bonfe has even sued government over the decision arguing that it is unconstitutional for the state to be seen to be promoting any particular religion or be excessively entangled in any religion or religious practice. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so you heard that report on the National Cathedral, filed by Sixtus Dong Ilo. Now the clergy has expressed surprise at the controversy that greeted the construction of, or that is greeting the construction or the proposed construction of the cathedral according to the clergy the construction of a cathedral is common practice across the world president akufado on wednesday met some members of the clergy and islamic clerics at the jubilee house over plans to construct the cathedral the meeting came on the back of public outcry over moves to evict some judges from their homes to make way for the construction of the edifice Speaking to City News, Vice Chairman of the National Association for of Charismatic and Christian Churches, Victor Osse said the Board of Trustees will meet next week to take a final decision on the matter. Sometimes it's better to let the fire calm down before you come out and make certain statements. In the midst of a lot of flames, people saying all kinds of things. Look, if you go to Nigeria, there's a national cathedral. There's a Muslim national cathedral. A lot of countries, these things are there. Right. So I don't think Ghana is anything strange um, if people decide to come together to aid government in setting up a national cathedral. Remember, we are about 70% Christian anyway. Francis is not silent on we this issue. There are a lot of things, you see, that's what I'm saying. You should allow people to say all that they want to say. Mm. They should vent out their spleen. And then at the end of the day, then you come out when things are calm mm. and say, this is what is going to be done. But in the midst of mm. a discussion, 
it is absolutely sometimes inappropriate to come out with things and let let people talk a while and then i believe that the board will come together all right victor say is a vice chairman of the national association of christian and charismatic churches NAC. meanwhile the coalition of muslim groups in ghana has cautioned that a governing new patriotic party risks lose, losing or dwindling its dwindling its electoral fortunes if it fails to rescind its decision to construct a national cathedral the coalition described as worrying government's posture of not listening to divergent views on the matter in an interview on city tv's city newsroom Secretary of the Coalition, Haj Abdel Hanan or Manan Abdel, questioned government's interference in all aspects of religious activities, including the organization of the pilgrimage. We are not opposed to the construction of a cathedral, mm. but we are saying that as a secular country, um, government has no business in involving itself in religious matters. Um, I can just imagine all other religious bodies in this country, 1001, um, demanding similar space to be provided by the state. That would be too much for our tax, taxpayers' uh, resource to be to handle. And so we are of the view that um, government, government should listen first to the ruling of the Supreme Court. In any case, the case is before the Supreme Court. Our position is that we are citizenry. Um, if you could recall, JM wanted to secularize, quote unquote, the organization of Hajj last year. We made it very clear to JM that stop it. He refused. They kept, they kept pushing it till elections. They came back to the Muslim community and it stayed at them. We all saw the results. So if you are talking to a government, it is up to the government to listen to the people. Otherwise, we have nothing to do. It will come to us. They would one day come to the same people. That's all. All right, you heard there, Haj Abdel Manan Abdel, who is the General Secretary of the Coalition of Muslim Groups in Ghana. Now, I'll move on to our next issue, which has to do with the GMPC and matters arising. It has emerged that its chief executive, uh, Dr. K.K. Sapon, authorized a transfer of $7.5 million to a company he once worked for in 2017. This has raised concerns of conflict of interest the transfer was for a six-block residential apartment purchased from Global Haulage Company Limited, where Dr. K.K. Sapon was once chief executive. Dr. Sapon said the transfer was urgent, according to a December 29, 2017 memo cited by City News. In the memo, he directed a chief finance officer to make the payment, saying, quote, I am by this memo authorizing you to effect the payment to Global Haulage Company Limited, the vendor, instantly as per their invoice attached uncle responding to the revelations dr sapon insisted that the deal was transparent the gmpc in a statement said that there was no conflict of interest as far as the acquisition is concerned meanwhile the member d andrew mesa has dispelled any wrongdoing on the part of the chief executive in the controversial 7.5 million dollar deal the allegations of conflict of interest against him and uh, the said payment made to the global haulage company but speaking to or speaking on the city breakfast city tv's breakfast daily program the second eve lawmaker insisted that due diligence was done by gmpc before payments were made if you disclose that look yes this entity that is seeking to do business with us i have a relationship with this company i've worked in the company before and that I cannot participate in the decision making. Clearly, you haven't infringed any rule when you make those disclosures. And Mr. Sapon says that yes, they're seeking to move their operational headquarters to Takradi. We know GMPC has accommodation for its employees in Tehran. And they're looking for a place in Takradi to house some of their staff that are moving there. Several companies have been trying to sell them, and property owners have been trying to sell them one bit of building here or there, scattered across the city, of course. But he knew about this property. He knew that Global Haulage had some housing enclave in the Chapel Hill area that uh, could be used. Of course, I don't know how the engagement 
with global haulage happened. But he says that he disclosed his interest, that he's worked with this company before. The board subcommittee that is responsible for property acquisition was actually the body that did the negotiation after proper valuation reports and things had been obtained from experts. And he did not participate at any time during the discussions, negotiations, until the board approved the purchase. So Andrew Mesa is MP for Second D. Now we move on to the freight forwarders and the cargo tracking note uproar. Only 48 agents pay their duty nationwide as a strike by freight forwarders over the implementation of the cargo tracking system or note ended. The freight forwarders said at the time they were resolute in their quest to push for a total withdrawal of the policy. City News' Tema correspondent of his Washington has been following the strike. Day two of the strike action organized by the Joint Committee of Freight Forwarders at the Tema Port saw activities at the port slow down, especially at the long room where freight forwarders usually hang around to pay duties. At the time City News visited the port on Tuesday morning, freight forwarders were seen gathered in groups and loitering around the long room instead of going about their usual duties. Most of them, including the leadership of the various freight forwarding associations, were very much present and had on their wrist red cloths to signal their seriousness. City News understands that by close of work on Monday, only 48 agents had paid their duties. This is what the leadership of the various freight forwarding associations told City News with regards to the strike action. As we started yesterday, we gave a three day old. That's what we're going to do. We're still going on, you know, full steam. This is not just happening in Tema, it's happening in Takradi, Lubo, Aflao, KIA, all across the country. In fact, in Sunyani as well. So, just like we said, we're continuing. And so, you can tell the effect of this whole thing. On a good day, you know you'll have more than 2,000 declarations going through. So, if you are 48, then you know the effect of what is happening. But what I say is very simple. The question should listen to us. We won't collect the, the, the trade data of this country and give it to one person. We won't allow one person to make 90, 90 to 200 million euros a year in his pocket for us to suffer. You understand? So if city is that good, why would cost, cost us their, their, their values? You understand? So this is just create and share. They just want to make money and they are at our expense. And we won't allow it. Here at the Tema Port, the long room specifically, indeed today, first forwarders are here um, still going on with their strike. They are saying they are not going to relent on their action until something is heard from government. For City Newsroom, Elvis Washington reporting from the long room. All right, meanwhile, the Ghana Institute of Freight Forwarders, GIF, has called on the Ghana Revenue Authority and other stakeholders at the various posts to, as a matter of agency, review the current model of the cargo tracking note system. Speaking on CTTV's current affairs program, The Point of View, the president of GIF, Kobna Ofosu Apia, said the implementation of the CTN in its current structure poses a challenge to their business. We are not ready. That's why we are calling for his suspension. So when will he be ready? No, when you have addressed this thing, because we, if... When we started, have addressed what specific we, thing? We started... When you have addressed the issue of how is transshipment going to be treated? Okay. How is switch bill of lading going to be treated? Mm -hmm. The issue of the U.S. not allowing their electronic export information to be used. Mm -hmm. How are you going to treat it? Vehicle. Vehicle is valued by Section 16 of this Act. The way vehicles must be value so even if you go out there and somebody gives you a vehicle for free when you if you whether you do ctn or you don't do ctn when you get to ghana the at six uh, section 60 of this act defines how vehicles should be valued mm. so why do you create a system which is going to benefit us in taking money for all of these scenarios when indeed it is not going to uh, it, it, it's it's value the, the the value out there is not going to be uh, useful. All right, so you heard that the president of the Ghana Institute of Freight Forwarders, Kobna Ofosu, appear. Now, government, after the agitations, announced the postponement of the implementation of the cargo tracking note system. 
according to government, the postponement is to allow for more consultations on the CTN policy, which has been largely opposed by the Freight Forwarders Association. Speaking on CTTV's major news bulletin, City Newsroom, an executive member of the Ghana Union of Traders Association, Guta Benjamin Yeboah, said although they have called off their intended strike, failure of government to address their grievances will lead to closure of all shops. Even before we get to the implementation, the new implementation, even if it will come on, mm -hmm. they are going to look at the duty components okay. because it's very, very high. If, like I was saying earlier, if you want full compliance, it's just a matter of looking at our plight and doing something about the, the duty components. Mm -hmm. It's just why. And then we know we are suffering because, like I was saying earlier, if we are struggling with interest rates, which hasn't come down, even though BOG has been talking of reduction in prime rates, but the banks, commercial banks are not respecting it. Mm -hmm. And look at the exchange rate, 4849. So we as traders, we are struggling to even keep our head above water. There should be a new date. Because we, our issue should be addressed. Look, we are key uh, uh, shareholders in uh, corporate Ghana. Mm -hmm. and, and therefore, we pay so much pay our, uh, what do you call it, revenue to government. And therefore, if there's a problem, and we've mentioned it, and those nitty gritties have not been looked at, why do we rise into implementing something when we still have bottlenecks? Then you draw the date back, it's better late than never. It's better you have it well couched that rush into something that will still bring us problems. All right, so you had there an executive member of the Ghana Union of Traders, Traders Association, Benjamin Yebua. This is a big issue. We're coming live. We're coming to you live from our studios at number 11, Dr. Martin Loop, in Adabraka, in Accra. We are live on City 97.3 FM and on City TV. We are on Facebook Live and around the globe. We are at citynewsroom.com. I will take a quick break, return, introduce my guests, and I will delve into the discussion proper. Don't go away. For regular news checks as they unfold, 2020 News, all day, all the time. Politics, sports, entertainment, business and more. 2020 News, we bring you the world in 20 minutes. And that's all the news in 20 minutes. Wherever the weekend sporting action happened, we will bring it to you here on Scorecard. Every goal, every dunk, every punch, the winning strides and the winning volleys. Come, international media. He said, look, wait, sit and eat. Let me have a meal with my people. <laughs> and I think that that's the same cool, it's the same organization he brings to the field every time I've seen him play. He looks to me like somebody who's played over 50 cups already. Okay. But this guy has barely played over 25 cups for the national team. All of the weekend's action in one place. Scorecard every Sunday at 7.30 p.m. prompt on CTTV. Every Thursday night on City TV, you're welcome to join women from different backgrounds and opinions as they weigh in on your relationship issues. Watch Sister Sister as the ladies get real with issues about love, marriage, betrayal, sex, dating, trust, finances, and more. Is and his goals and aims and ambitions, including like marital life or children. You should know that from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And when you have a deep conversation, you should be able to sense the vibe or the energy. But you should have that conversation so that you know what you're going in for. And then you advise yourself upon what you want mm -hmm. and what the person wants. Join Jessica and her sisters for City TV's all women talk show, Sister Sister, every Thursday at 9 p.m.
Yeah, welcome back to the big issue. The big issue is your most preferred Saturday morning news and current affairs analysis program, which comes to you every Saturday from 9 a.m. on 97.3 City FM and on City TV. This morning, my guests are Pius Enam Hadide, Deputy Minister for Information, Inusa Fuseni Alaji, MP Tamale Central, and former Minister of Many Many Portfolios. Franklin Kudo, <laughs> President of Imani Africa. Sydney Kesley Hayford, Member, Occupy Ghana. Gentlemen, you are welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. 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 Uh, organizing the original yes today congress or conference today congress is today regional congress, congress is, today. is today to al elect the regional executives all over the country so 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 all the regions in the all country of, are all over the country all, all over the country all the regions uh, there's a second step mm -hmm. second major step in the reorganization drive uh from from after the election of the regional executives we'll, we'll go on to elect the national executives that you'll be at the, the Tamale area. I was there, the I was there yesterday. Okay. Uh, and today being the main event, you, you yes, know, I'll be there. And, and people also think that it, it's important because it's, it's, it's a national or a state monument which will have a lot of benefits. Thank you very much, my brother. Let me say uh, social political discussion programs. <laughs> Such uh, distinguished personalities. Use the opportunity to wish translation of the results. I, I think that mm. I think that it's important that uh, all political parties uh, no verification, no vote struggle that we have to go to adopt the attitude of and understanding the electoral uh, issues more. I think that we CE and political parties are value chain and that is what I am how it is on the ground uh, it is in To let them know, number one, that they can have to come up and vote. It doesn't matter that that man has a store building and is in voter rights. They had even said that I was tempted to believe that he is. Policies or programs. Yeah, you know why they did yeah. that? <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> yes. The, the, the social so interventions. Libra, Libra, so go and, go and read introduction of social conservative government mm. because they believe that if the workers felt that oh they were doing something to push their future, constituency you mm. correct why we correct we create so yes it's true what happened in the in the greater crowd region voters were they cancelled i agree with him that it, it requires this you must be prepared to enforce them. Okay, do we PP guys? That was one So in Japan, examine the tolerance before you vote. And if you understand, you have no, there's no duty imposed on you. So this came in the future election, which was in 2004. I don't know. But, but uh, this really is no, no, no. Yeah, 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 but it's, it's also a critical matter yeah. to me, unless they reflect. <laughs> yes, that's, that's, what, no, 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 that's <laughs> what. Okay. They say one thing and do the other, but that is fine. Right. You're spot on that. Uh, historically, uh, it is the. And again, we are all navigating towards the center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the point is that we are all navigating towards the center. The center. Yeah. But historically, no, 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 please, no, 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 it's important. Okay. No, I know the law. The law was state. passed. Uh, uh, was passed. <laughs> 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 
these are facts. But now, our we listen to. There's no doubt about that. We can listen to them. The vast majority in this country, we admit that the on, on on the belief that God, fair and just God, that who pretends in the affairs of, of men. It doesn't matter whether he's a Muslim, whether uh, we are a country of. For me, uh, is that we have a president who is able to his vision and to also play a part in achieving whatever objective. He may, he may have said for himself. So the board of trustees has needs to build uh, uh, a cathedral. Uh, I, I do not. Uh, I am at a loss. Patients on this country, uh, they go beyond developing a national and a social value. Over two million visitors every year, and it is estimated that uh, uh, a day uh, cathedral. We are our former vice president, General of Mr. Kofi Annan. We are having the funeral of a. <laughs> Of His Excellency the President, and we'll be running for cover. I think that we know the value of things. There's no doubt. When we built uh, the uh, the uh, conference center and the, the uh, we have finished building all the schools and all the. Well, not to see on this, but we'll, we'll, we'll try and. <coughs> Before he, he, he leave, brilliant uh, points about national and social values, about the fact that we can be walking and chewing gum at the same time. What is your view you might about chew it? Well, it <laughs> no, it, it will come it, because. Maybe I'll see the point, but I don't. You're drinking something. To no, I, I, I think what has happened. Yes. So are you saying that are you saying the religious <laughs> as, as, as of the state to build churches? We need a state church. Yeah. Yeah. Muslims. Yes, yeah, we do. Uh -huh. On the state land. On the state land. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We do. Yes. But Just, just no, put down all national one place. No, you don't do that. Go look at more way of developing cities. You don't do that. Even the one that has all done that. But we have so a it becomes growth points as well. <laughs> it's Finland, the cathedral there. All right, and move the people. Which have made us work. What has cohesively welded the problems in our If we could, we will be seriously amazed. Quantified. Maybe it's something that Iman. The religion is the, the international cohesion. I wow. think you are trying to cut credit in Krumah. <laughs> Christians. Well, then you are getting into the very fine details. Yeah, so let's 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 so, let's, 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 so, yeah, let's, let's see you conclude. So 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 the seventy percent you doubt. Is it very more? Is it more or less? It's, it's very less. Now we go. All right. I think it's assume seventy percent. Based on what? I'll I'll get to this. If of this country, that is religion. But the thing is this.
three three less characterization. Is that at one point in this, in case you don't forget, in case you're forgotten. I agree, but I'm saying, of course, and the history is the fabric of which we are talking about pillars, not history. Pillars, and, and the, the pillars have come that the cocoa trees may die. So at that point, so it, this country it, it, it is built on our pillars, yeah, but then so there will be another pillar. Country. So what do we do? We're stretching it, but it doesn't stretch. So, 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 I'm, I'm, anyway. I'm postulating what I think have been the key ingredients of the book. Yeah. 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 All right? When you can't show off the... Yes, you are... You are going to have a monument for religion called the National Cathedral. Is that a point? I think there's nothing wrong with it. Very well. Because if the Muslims also... Actually, tells me that if you the time that don't say what I've given you is unclean, I think it's to you that, yeah. um. That as an act. So it shouldn't be. I don't think the. Absolute yeah. stand them with the. Probably get the right phrase. There's a missing link. This cathedral will feel as probably a second. Is that all the architectural definition of Ghana? All of these. Uh, 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 style architecture are historically built. Yeah. so the beautiful uh, uh, these the the, 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 the no, I, said that you were no, 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 no. I'll be for the building up for it but have a better politicization uh, space okay clotted from the audio constituency says Ghanaians from all walks of life no matter uh, once political to aggressively oppose this national if you come to Ghana is live music poetry on TV Join Kujua Kutubwa team for real entertainment. For regular... That's all the news and...